I'm going to share with you um, a way to make some really simple um, slump molds. And um, this came partly out of um, searching for things that were a little quicker than plaster. So I had been doing some hump molds with plaster, but I never really liked working with plaster. Um, and I just wanted some quick ways to develop um, some volume in some in, into a slab. And so I had seen uh, wood molds made before with an opening cut in the middle. Um, but I didn't have a lot of woodworking tools and it seemed like a big investment. So I started to experiment with just using things that I had around like old cardboard. So um, this will become a slump mold. So I'm basically gonna drape clay down into this space. And what I like about this is it's really quick to try a form and see if you like it. Um, and if I don't like it, it's not a big loss by just tossing this cardboard out. So one of the ways that um, I, will develop forms is just by simply cutting paper and sometimes I'll, through sketches I'll know what form I want um, and even then if I know I want this basic shape what I find helpful is to just cut it out of paper and work through the shape um, with cutting paper. It's really quick I, mean, I think a lot of people utilize this this process of just folding the paper you know sometimes I'll do a quick sketch on the paper and then sort of smooth out the lines by cutting. And depending on how you fold and cut, you can, you know, come up with some shapes. And, you know, maybe after cutting this, I realize like, oh, these lobes are a little too big, so I can just fold it back down and pre-cut. Um, once I've found a shape on paper that I like, um, I, I first started by doing everything on cardboard. And um, what I found is that, you know, it's a little flimsy and this edge can get a little ragged. Um, so I started seeking out some things that were still a little less permanent than wood, but a little sturdier than this. And so that's how I got into using the um, foam core, which is just uh, it's a center of foam laminated in between these boards. And they have different thicknesses. So you can see in there, there's like a thinner section, um, but this thick stuff really holds up well and works especially well for larger forms. Um, but ultimately what you have to do with these, whether it's cardboard or the foam core, is you need a support for it that is going to support the whole board. So you can see in this case, like this board, this box does not work well with this board um, because when I put the clay on here, it's just going to flop it in. So with the cardboard ones, I found the closer you can support that opening, the st sturdier this will be. Um, but this box will work well for this mold. And the more I experimented with using the slump molds, um, the more I started playing around with various possibilities. So in this case, instead of just slumping this shape, I've um, layered two molds together to create um, what will be a platter with a rim. So I'm gonna drape some clay into here and encourage it into that space and then I'll have a nice rim on this piece.